This is a consumer message from Gina reloading from the hot pot. If you like videos like this, if you'd like to see good gun gear and accessory reviews, please consider to give a subscribe down here at the bottom. Maybe turn the bell notification on. Always give a like and please share. Welcome back my pupils, this is Gene coming to you with Reload from the Hot Pot. Today we're going to go over my Neptune Concealment Modularity Possibilities. And I'll tell you what, there's a few. We're not going to count them all, but we're going to go over the first step here in modifying this to customize it for you, for your purpose of carrying the way you want to carry with this modular system. Now when I ordered this, I got it with this fibrous cloth here that is flexible, that does allow for some movement back and forth this way and forward and backward. So first we're going to change this to the rigid piece and see how that reacts. This solid piece attached to here does make it rigid so it does not have hardly any movement to it at all. You're only going to get the flex of the kydex itself. So there is no, no twisting, no back and forth. So if you're looking for a rigid setup and you do not like the, uh, the fibrous flex, it does come with this piece to make it completely rigid. Let's try something else. Next, we're going to detach the mag pouch and look at it as just an appendix style holster. That is with the rigid mount and the mag carrier detached from the holster itself. So now this can be worn um, appendix style. Quite nice. In this configuration as well, it could also be worn as a 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock position. You could take this claw on or off of it. I would leave it on it as to push it back into your body more for less printing. But that is, that's tomato, tomato. You, me, the other. Now we're going to take this claw off of it and we're going to turn it into an outer waistband holster. There, <clears throat> with this clip being taken off of it and the 1.5 inch belt loops being attached to the back of it through all of the screws and you get plenty of screws and little washers and nuts and uh, bushings to play with, you can turn this into an outer waistband style. And you notice when I took this off, this is two adjustable positions for height as well as the cant. And you see the way it is machined in there like that? That is to allow for when the cant comes down so the screws still stay in alignment. That's a nice little touch. Let's see what else we can do. Next, we're going to use these clips and turn this into an inner waistband holster for the 3, 4 o'clock position as well as appendix. There, now you can turn that into an inner waistband for carry, whether it be appendix, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock rock. This also is adjustable for cant as far as your clips go. The um, cut in it is elongated so you can move them in or out for your comfort or adjustability. Let's talk about this mag pouch. <clears throat> Being a competitive shooter, I like a cant on my magazine for easy draw. And this has a nice cant. Me being right-handed, it is canted back to that side. Now this could be used for left-handed as well. Um, you would just have to learn to make some adjustments in your drawing of the magazine into the reinsertion into the firearm. First, we're going to do the outer waistband attachment. Now, for the mag pouch itself, these belt loops cannot be used because of the, uh, there is not proper alignment of the screw holes. But we can use these clips by putting them on the outside for inside the waistband or the inside for outside the waistband. 
and they do have very nice hooks on there so I don't think those are going to come off very easily when you pull the mag out of it. So let's attach them and see how it looks. This is how it looks with those clips on the inside of it to form an outer waistband. Now, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to switch these around and show it to you. You can just imagine when you turn these around, then you can run this mag carrier inner waistband as well. Now you can see this is everything disassembled off of this holster. And this leaves a lot, a lot of possibilities to put together to customize this for yourself. Oh, do you notice that there? Oh, that's the free wallet that I got with it that I have been using. That is my old wallet next to it. So my old wallet next to it was given to me by a friend of mine. Very nice, very tactical wallet. A little can opener there. You got some finger grooves there, you know, just in case. You never know. It's a Velcro attachment. And you can see I've been, this has been in my pocket for a while now. Well worn with the cards. Uh, it's been very, very handy. But this has been very nice as well. Been carrying this in my pocket. It's pretty easy to get to your cards. Slide one out. Uh, got, got my whole stack of cards in there. So, this has been really nice too. I really, really like having this. And they make it to match whatever you order for the outer shell, color, pattern, whatever you'd like. Well, my pupils, that's my Neptune's Concealment Holster. Modular holster. Modular. You've seen the different ways this can be ran? So, just use your imagination. Put the attachments on. It comes with plenty of screws. Uh, screws, nuts, washers, whatever you call, call these things, bushings. Um, yeah, it comes with everything. I mean, this is very, very nice. Very nice setup. So I'm going to put this back together and put this rig back on me because this is my EDC now. But I am going to experiment with carrying it with just, just the holster itself. Mag pouch on the other side. I'm going to play with it carrying it in a Pennix style. I'm going, to, I'm going to try some 4 o'clock positioning with it and see how I feel about that. I haven't worn that way for a long time, so it would be a little different for me. But my pupils, that's all I got for you today. Visit Neptune Concealment. Made in the USA. Veteran-owned company. You can't go wrong. Great price for this entire modular system. So instead of buying one, two, three, four different holsters, maybe give Neptune Concealment a look. They do have a little bit of a lead time. It takes about three weeks or so to get it, but they are made to order. So that's something to take into consideration. Uh, light bearing, non-light bearing. Um, yeah, look on their website. It's great. <laughs> it really is. A lot, a lot of good stuff they have. All right, my pupils. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate you. And always remember to keep blowing the smoke.